a crisp and cool April morning in Escalante. Rick, Amy, and Katie prepare for another day in the canyons of the Grand Staircase. Hard hats, water bottles, gloves, and all the important safety gear that one needs to head into the rugged country of Escalante. Within an hour, Rick was unloading us at a seemingly flat part of the desert. Seemingly flat till you take a few steps. We're going canyoneering today. It's not your typical walk in the park or even your typical hike up a little trail. This ain't your grandfather's hike. This is different. <laughs> For one thing, canyoneering takes more equipment than a walk in the park. And your average hike, well, you normally avoid obstacles, such as deep cracks in the earth. But we're going to go down this rope here. The way down is pretty much straight. Straight. Think you can do it? I can do it. Can you? I can do it. <laughs> we're going to go do it. Today's canyon will have four or five little rappels, um, a lot of uh, down climbing and very deep there and now canyon. It's absolutely beautiful. But getting past the first rappel wasn't as easy as I thought. Ooh, there you go. We're doing it. That feeling right here, this is where it is. Now, look, That's now you the stay fear. in that feeling. <laughs> no, it's the fear and feeling. Fear <laughs> <just a little. laughs> Thanks to the coaching and patience of Rick, I overcame my fear and overcame the ledge. Right hand on your hip, feet apart, start walking down. You're fine. I'm walking backwards. Yep, there you go, there you go, Susan. <laughs> I inch my way slowly down the canyon wall, then comes slick superhero Terry. I actually felt like Batman in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Along with Susan and me were the Schmitz from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is beautiful, that's why we come here. You know, and it, it is a lot different from where we're at. You know, we're more lakes and woods. Oh, it's, it's amazing. You don't see this in Wisconsin. This is actually their second trip into the Grand Staircase. Jill and Tim took their kids canyoneering with Rick two years ago when Aaliyah and Jacob were only 9 and 11 years old. I guess my feeling is if, if I, we were just out here as a family without Rick, I wouldn't do it. But I have a lot of trust in Rick and excursion to Escalante, to tell you the truth. You know, you hire someone and you feel like they've got it covered. How long have you been doing this, Rick? Uh, ten years now. It's our tenth year guiding in Escalante, so we're the first guide service in the area. So. Repelling was just the first lesson of canyoneering. Rick and Katie also taught us the techniques for squeezing through the narrow slots. Maybe even have a feet up high. See how strong whether it's a foot bridge or a body bridge, there are important maneuvers to get you through some very narrow spaces. Sometimes it's a silly looking walk. Other times it's squeezing and sliding right through a little crack in the canyon walls. And then, more repels. Come on, rope break. Black. Black. And not all the repels are down tall, steep cliffs. She got it? Yep. And now she'll be the youngest person ever pull off that bridge. For most of our rappels, large rocks were our anchor. But what do you use for an anchor when there's no large rock to tie a rope around? Now, you know what they called me? On? I'm doing He's an this. anchor man, yeah. I'm the anchor, but instead of the anchor man, I'm the meat anchor. They call me. I'm the one who keeps all the others from falling down and breaking their crown. Anchor on? Yep. Anchor on. <laughs> With Terry on the rope, this 15 to 20 foot drop requires both rappelling and bridging. I'm putting my life in your hands. How nice are you going to be for me? <laughs> the rest of your life? A perfect angel forever. <laughs> so with that guarantee, I made sure I kept a firm hold as Susan made her rappel. Yep. There you go. And then you can push off from that wall with your left hand. And the anchor man follows with ease. Beach down. <laughs> that was much easier. It's getting better and better. It was so narrow, our packs had to come down separately, and it didn't get any wider anytime soon. Yeah, you can do an arm bar in there. Yeah. Those who spend time in Utah's Red Rock know the texture of the sandstone can be like sandpaper. Watch Tim's knee as he comes down this rappel. Cool. You got your foot. Oh, bring it down. Our recommendation, long pants and gloves. Now I thought I'd been in slot canyons before, but never anything as tight as this. 
Next time, I'll lose 30 pounds before I go into these canyons. We entered the canyon at 10 in the morning. About 1.30, we took a break for lunch. And the sun began to crest the canyon rim, giving the slot that golden glow we see in so many pictures. Rick, how far have we come in? Well, uh, we've come in about a half mile. I think we're down about 300 feet into the canyon. We've uh, what, done two or three rappels now. I think we've got two or three to go. Um, the walls are going to start getting real high. And very soon, we're going to see some more of this real beautiful red sandstone. So, off we go again. And Rick was right. The walls did get higher and more spectacular. Our final rappel. And then the last drop down is as easy as a child's slide. You're done. How many repels did you do, Susan? How many? Five? Five. Six? Did you see this guy? I know, it's <laughs> Check out my friend. He's here waiting for me with a taco. A bit of whimsical sand sculpture left by a canyoneer in the previous year. Nice being greeted by a friendly face. Mr. Bill! Can you take pretty much anybody in here? You know, we can. Um, for the most part, our guests come from all walks of life and all different abilities. and. Uh, we have so many canyons to choose from that we're able to find something that matches up to you know, their interest and what their level of uh, physical strength is. It's pretty good, really. So by 3 o'clock, we emerged from the canyon. Rick, Katie, you guys made me feel so comfortable, and I was scared to death. I'm uh, so scared of heights, and I felt like I could totally trust you, everything about you You today. did fantastic. Smooth as can be. Both of you are awesome. Big you, thanks. You did five repels. How did it feel? And you've I, already, I feel accomplished. <laughs> and you've already got your gear off. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's been great. Oh, Rick, fun. I know you're going on with the Schmitz. Yeah. You've got another little canyon way yeah. to go. Yeah, we've got some more fun ahead. So. Katie, you're going to lead us out? Well, Katie yeah. will take you out. You're in good hands with her. And uh, you guys have a safe trip home. We'll be talking with you soon. That's All right. Fun. Thanks, Rick. Right. Appreciate it. Good. Let's go, Katie. All right. Okay. Good. Be safe. Catch up with you later. Okay. Right? okay. From somewhere in the Escalante. Somewhere. <laughs> Susan and Terry would brag at least. All right.